Yobruk Nation here in Joshua on this beautiful autumn day. Leaves falling everywhere as uh, we enjoy the riches of Yan York Shore. Let us take a, another look this morning as I want to show you parts of the community you've never seen. But I want to. Oh, everything is well, carrots growing. Look at the cabbages and things. They're growing, they're getting big. We'll be eating off of these next month. And so everything's ex exceptionally well. We're enjoying the blessings, the fruit, the riches of Yah. The broccoli is coming along. This is not a place in the South where broccoli loves this kind of weather. You can see here the plants are coming, broccoli heads and everything as we prepare for the season to come that we can take care of ourselves. And that's every day, not for some traumatic experience, but every day. I want to visit and show you, we're going to have a great gathering on first day. Those here in the community and those that we know, and we're just going to enjoy the riches of Yah. We're getting Wi-Fi in now. They're here putting in all the uh, connections and everything. We're here in the country. And so they are not in a rush to get us Wi-Fi or anything. It's no money out here. But I want to show you, I will be cooking on first day. And the daughters will be preparing Cornish rock hens and things like that. We just love the fellowship. We do it. And I'll be cooking here. This is my place here. This is the house that I cook in. I design all of this. I love to design. I love to design things. And so I did that. This is where we will be, the Achim. We got us. We need to get warm. We got a wood burning stove there, a big old fireplace. And so we enjoy the fellowship. I do. You're in your home by yourself. It's, it can be quite lonely. This is my kitchen. It is not my kitchen, but this is where I cook. And Akshibri got a large buck the other day, dear. And I saw the backbone, and that's all I wanted. All of that net meat in the backbone. You see that? I'm going to do that in Jamaican style. Not authentic, because I got my style of cooking. And that's how I'm going to cook. Let's go outside here. We're going to... So join me. We're going to see some of the other property that we own or other parts of it. Turn that off. And we'll head out. And I'll get on my Cadillac over here. And then we're going to get going. I will show you how Yah has blessed. This is a beautiful place, nation. I, I enjoy living here. I really do. Uh, I know I could have half half million dollar home and all that, but I didn't want it. I'd rather live in that little $1,500 house. I built this outhouse when no one was here but my Isha and me. And it is still operable. Zachin Ya Ramaya, my son, turned it into a compost outhouse. But this is what I pay for this little house. Heats my water and all, and I enjoy every day of my life. I enjoy it. So let's head out here on this experience. You're going to see the Shua community. What a great thing it is for Yisrael to have the ultimate fellowship with each other. Just like it is a great thing to get Toda and to Yah. That is one of the most beautiful things that we could experience. Great fellowship, love. And we say we know how to love, but we really don't understand the Achanda of Yah. And this is all a way because you're going to get irritated with me and upset. And I will do the same to you. Yet we hold fast to those things that Torah teaches us. We hold fast to that. We're going to take you on a little bit. Ah, look at the sheep. 
They are robust this morning. We got, I believe, 12 or 14 new kids. The little, the lamby bee. And uh, we enjoy our lamb here. We got cows to butcher and all of that. The sun is blaring today. See how they look. Let's see. Uh, the sun is giving us a... Let me get another angle, all right? And then we will... I want to put up a little video today. The last one I put up, it had no sound, so I apologize. And let me get to position. And we can see... Beautiful morning here. It really is. Let me see if we can see from here. All the glare. These are the, as the little ones will say, the sheepy. We got some big old rams out there. See those there? That's a big boy. He produ they produce babies. See the little ones? And then over here, the goats. They're not keen on the hay. But yet we planted this for the last garden. This year, it will rust until next year. And then we will start planting all of our land. We will grow food and vents and things like that that we have. We will do that. We will not till the land or anything. This is Teshua community here. This is our livelihood. This is where we live. And this is where we enjoy our lives. This is Teshua. I want to show you another part of it. We're going to go out of the gate. We're going to take a left here. From my doorstep to the end of our property and back is 1.4 miles. All of this on the left hand side, it belongs to us. This is our land. The man that sold this land to us, he was a Gigantual giant of a man, about six, six, three hundred pounds. Not fat. Has spent years in prison. When I met him, he took a liking to me. I was the only person that could say to him, Mr. C. C. I gave him that name, Mr. C. I would say, You need to be quiet and learn to listen. He said, All right, preacher, you talk. And he would always tell me, you're not like these other men. This is our land. This is a beautiful piece of land. We're down a dirt road, as you can see. And they come through here at times crazy. Let me pull over just a pad. I want to show you what we have. All right? So let me be a little. Bit. All right. This is part of our property we own. These are pastors and things, all of this. Look at the beauty of these trees. Beautiful trees. We're not going to be cold at all. This is the land I wanted for us here. They call it a pond, but to me that's a lake. And some wealthy Caucasian men bought this for one reason, just to hunt, that's all they do. I could have gotten all of this land at that time, it was tied into a teacher's retirement fund. I could have purchased it for 320000 And what a great blessing that would have been. Develop communities within this community. Your homes, swimming pools, and all of that. But we as a nation, we have learned to be very selfish because we don't care about nobody those that we say we care for, we really don't care. This is our property. We're back on our side. All of this is sheltered. We've got some of the sheltering system of the trees. That's one of the homes up there. You may not can see it. But I can see it. Let me see. This is the part of the community. You see that beautiful home here? 
We have homes there, you can see the brownish. Uh, it's difficult to see, but we have the home right here by the pond. All of these, we'll take it to. But this is our property here. I want to show you the entrance and where and how this beautiful piece of land. This one, look at the trees. We heat with bullets, so we're not going to get cold. And if we do, we'll stick with it. Uh, let me see this, this pond over here. You can see it. I want you to see it. It is a beautiful piece of land. I call it a lake. Can you see that? But if you look over somewhat over that horizon, you can see a beautiful lake. We will catch hundreds of fish from this lake. And so it's no trespassing. If they catch you over there, you're in trouble. We can see the goats down here enjoying this morning. This is what I want to show you. This is our land. Everything you see while I'm driving on this right-hand side, this is our land. Yah has blessed this land for us. Let me take you closer, all right? Means, because we didn't have the finance, and yet Yah brought every dime in, and we moved here, we owe no one nothing. Never paid myself a salary or taken funds from this place. But here it is here. This is a pond that I showed you from that backside. And this is all our land. All of this here. The pond, they're fishing here. There used to be a stream that run down from that hill in all the waters. And the Yah bless us to get us a nice um, piece of equipment. We're going to enlarge this. And that's where our land ends. You see that orange flag over there? These are the goats down here foraging and eating. Look at the trees. That's what amazes me, the beautiful trees. I don't cut down trees now. I don't. This is our property. It's not mine. It belongs to Yisra. And if I did something that was horrific, a sin beyond forgiveness, forgiveness and there is no sin, but I will not do anything you jeopardize my life and my living here because I love it. I'm getting older every day and I have, my wife is getting older. So I will not jeopardize our community. I will not even do that because it's just wicked. We're going to look at our property as I go forward. This is just one element of our property. All right, got the Cadillac rolling. Have to be careful on this road, because these folks can be fools. The sun is coming out, it's going to be a blustering, blustering day, warm and nice. I need to go out in that I pick up some things, follow gathering. You see that here where the trees here, you see the devastation of all these trees here. About three, four years ago, five I would say. We got so much rain. All of this is our property. And these were trees, the poplar and oak, that I had those, one person say, let me get those trees, preacher. That kind of wood you got down there is expensive. That's what they want. And I was just letting them grow. And then it became irrigated with all of this water. Our land is to the center of this road here. Our land goes from the center this way. You can see the devastation of the land now. You can see water everywhere. All of that was all in there were nothing but trees. Nothing but trees. I'm going to take you up, just give you this today. And then I got other land I want to show you, the cows and all of that. But look at those trees, how that, that water killed all of them, they drowned. And so all of this that you see is our land. And when I got to look at that, devastating. 
I don't know what to do because that creek belongs to the state, but we own the land on both sides of it. We come in here and see, see our land. This is where it goes. I'll tell you what, I don't know if I want to do that. The road, you can see the little road, we'll show. It goes all the way around our property. I would bring the children up here, we were hike this. But all of this, you see, all of this is our land. We own it. We own all of this. All of this. A new group, all new churches. I don't understand why you all would spend millions of dollars on things when you can utilize a portion of that, you get some land. Here's one thing this old hillbilly said to me one day, just for us some land from him. He looks at me and says, preacher, they don't make that no more. They don't make land. Why is that the wealthiest people of the world, the Bill Gates, the Turtles, and all of these, the Bidzo, they own millions of acres of land. I don't understand that, people, that you could grow food. You could set up things whereby your revenue will come from that. And there are millions of dollars to be made. You meet some of these old hillbillies around here, you would think they broke. But they take not broke, my friend. They got money. From what? Well, they got a third grade education, education, but they have used the resources of their own mind. Why you cannot do it? Why you that say you love no one but, quote, Hebrew Israelites, unquote, why don't you take your resources and buy land? There are cities for sale, all shut down throughout America, Texas. You can buy land there cheap, just get the infrastructure. Let's move on. I want to show you. This is our, all, right, all of this. Beautiful piece of land. I was going to build homes here. A huge root cellar at the side of the hill. We can do all of this as ours. All of this is our land. Beautiful trees. Everything is beautiful. I want to show you where the end of it is. As we go, we, we have never had problems with the people around here. Hillbillies or not, we have not had problems. Because I will not allow them to be problems to me, and they are not going to be my problem. Neither will I be their problem. They are not going to dictate to me. Let me be careful. I'm going to turn around here. Because they come down through here, as my grandmother would say, like a bat out of hell. I'm going to make this not a new turn, but as my grandmother would say, a new turn. Here we are, approaching a beautiful community. This is it here. Teshua Hebrew Yisra Yolites Community. I came here with my insurance in 1996. You see that? Let's walk over there. These, these are our neighbors around here. They've never given me problems. You see that? The sure Hebrew community. Since 1996. I love this community. And as I said, we have huge trees here. You know how I got this land from the representative here in legislation and an old hillbilly Indian. And that Indian talked like that. He didn't talk to me, but he talked like that. And he had made millions of dollars 
buying land on the dirt cheap. Looking at, looking at that fellow, you would think, boy, he is a hillbilly of hillbillies. Broke as they come, he wasn't broke. And he said to me, I ain't going to sell nobody this land but you all. Because the place is so beautiful down there, and I don't want nobody trying to come in here across the street or close to you. We try to make it a mess down here. It's just too pretty. That's what he said. Beautiful trees and everything. Uh, this is our property. Look at those trees. Look at that. Come on, nation. I always say to the Achim, if we get in a crisis, we'll come out here and pick up woods. But we will always have centers here open that the daughters can stay warm. You want to sleep in your house if it's cold, that's up to you. But we will always have warmth. I just want to take you down a step or two down this path. It leads you all the way around to where I will go in on the latter end of this video. But this is our community. Oh, look at those trees down through there. Tell me, my friend. You see all those beautiful trees? All this hardwood. We can do, we don't have the restrictions like you do in certain places. South Carolina is a very conservative state. That's our line right there, property line. It is a very conservative state. But when it comes to government interference, it is as liberal as any state you want to live in, Texas or anywhere. Hunting is excellent. You come up in here, as my grandmother would say, dears, she put the S on the end. No singular or plural, just dears or dear. That's all right. Let me show you down the road here. And we're going to go in on the property. And I want to show you everything that we have. Look at this beautiful road right here. Part of our property here. See that road? It leads all the way around. And I'll show you. I'll go up and then show you. This is our land. It's not my land, nation. It's our land. It's Israel. And you must understand why we're not let some little fruitcake of a jitty bug. And there are so many that know everything. They couldn't tell you how to build a house. They can't build a sandbox. You will not come here. Not here. Now, Akeem would not even allow you to do that. And if you get past me, you got to come through them. And that doesn't even, that's not even a thought of mine. You see, they drive crazy here. You have to be very careful. Let me turn it back to land. This is our land. I was showing you all of this. And I'll show you what I want you to put the root cellar. Everything. These are a few neighbors we have. It's amazing. It's right here. All many know is what others that are of the same equivalence of ignorance know about us, what they have heard each other say. And then it meets me. They are taking a while. They lock me. I don't care if they lock me or not. But they find a man that others have speculated about any community because I want them to see the beauty of our community. Come on down. I let them see. I let them come in. Man, this and there has never been a person that come here that did not speak with great accuracy of how beautiful the place was. There was a young man, they asked, they were putting the Wi-Fi in. He saw the colors, so when the people see our colors, they just, it's amazing. That used to be an old house right there. Let me show you that place right there. You see that? 
the old fireplace is still there. Used to be an old rotten out truck. And this Caucasian, you can tell, you could tell he was down in the dirt. And he said, Miss, I'll clean that up for you if you want me to. Yes, for that old truck up there. You could even piece that thing back together. I said, no, you don't have to do that. Take it. Well, certainly you can have it. Take it. Because you could look at the dirt in his nails. And I assume his wife, they went bad shape. I said, take the truck. I would do that for any man. Makes a difference who he is. There was nothing we could do with it. Ah, oh, they're down here. Putting in the lines. I want to show you another piece. What I said I want to show you our property. Let me get off here. Park my Cadillac. We're going to walk over here. Let me park my Cadillac for a minute. We're going to keep this around no more 35 minutes. Um, here we go. Here we go. So this is part of the process of the, uh, the Wi-Fi, the check-in for everything. And this is our property here. You need to put, oh, that's wide enough. And as I said to you at the top, this is this is the road that you saw at the top it comes all the way down here. And then it winds around here. Now all of that line belongs to our property is adjacent. The only thing that's separated is the creek that belongs to the state of South Carolina. No one can come on our property to get on that creek, but they can walk down the center of that creek all they want to. That's state law and state rule. And those, and there were those around us, poor people, mainly Caucasians. They would come and sit on that bridge at the little creek there, and they would fish. They used to do it quite frequently. And then when you engage with them, you can tell the ignorance, the unlearned ways, but they were very nice and very kind, because I will not allow any man to disregard me not because I will not disrespect him but don't come here with your bullshit you will not get past me and that's just the truth so this is all of our property trees and all of that I want to thin I want to I said to my sons let's take the trees down next year and plant corn and rye and wheat we draw the monster box in here. I'm just going to walk up a little farther. And then I'm going to show you. We're going to go back into the community. Look at those. If you had seen, I'll tell you what it was. When I showed you all those trees down, they all looked like the, these trees. Let me show you. And it was the water that killed them. So, I'm very protective of my trees. You know, like that. See all those beautiful trees back there? Look at that. Look at all those trees. They're beautiful. You have to be here. There's some bigger than that. But I'm not going to walk, walk back that far. I wanted to build a root cell, a huge one in here. That we could sub store enough food that will last years. And all these big, beautiful rocks and boulders, they're here. They're here. And I want to do that. And those trees that went under the water, I would just marvel at the beauty of them. Let me cut those trees for you. No, sir. No, ma'am. We may need to use that to keep us warm. And all of that, from that side on the other side to here, this is our property. We owe no one. And because we are classified as, quote, a church, we are classified as, quote, a church campground. ground. We pay no taxes. We have no inspectors. No one mess with us. And it was the kindness of that Caucasian's heart. We bought this land. To me, preacher, one question I want to ask.
He said, how much money are they paying you? I was muscular and huge back then. I'm still overweight tremendously. He saw the breath of this man, his strength, and almost put my nose on his nose, and I said, not one brown penny. Not one nickel. Not a penny. So Nathan was a little young engineer. He was, his skin hue looked like mine. And he says, Nathan, what do we do for the preacher? Let's do this. And Nathan could cut with him. You could tell, I could tell Nathan, Nathan was an educated engineer. I could tell that the Caucasian had learned by experience. Nathan had learned by schooling. And he said, I tell you what, preacher. I had no idea of that. He said, I tell you what, preacher, I'll do this for you. We're going to zone you as a church camp ground. Okay. That really meant nothing to me. He said, I'll do that. We will never bother you again. No one will come and inspect your kitchen, your dining facility, or nothing like that. He said, you will be zoned as a church campground. And they have never, they have never bothered us. 27 years next year. And all this happened over 26 years ago when they came to inspect. He said, we will never, and they have not, they don't bother us. And when there are those that come, different sheriffs or whatever, we was in all communities who were like this. Such shalom, such peace. So they have never given us a problem. Yeah, this goes maybe. So we're looking to get the wild fire. So. All right, boss man, how are you doing? You finding what you're looking for? I hope so. We need that wild fire, all right? Yeah. Oh, good. It is? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, Captain. Yeah. Just letting the you world know. Me, you? Huh? You feeling me? Yeah, you're all right. The world will see you. Just telling the people you're doing your job, looking for the wildfire. Okay. You'll be all right. All right, boss man. So that's what it looks like here. All those beautiful trees are probably goes all the way over there. All of that is our property. All of those green trees, they cut back. Where it go? Where it goes? And it feeds into a tremendous pond. This is us here. Beautiful community. Our goats are eating, and here you will find deer all the time. They come up here on those briars and everything. Built it all, my friend. There is nothing that people cannot do if they come together in a collective manner. You could save a million dollars if the people get together and they combine their resources, they can buy houses. Because I was going to do this in Charlotte, North Carolina. Two people to school to get their real estate license. And I was going to buy every house around our assembly. And can I say this? The value of that property that we own in Charlotte and the land around it because this urbanization, it was all people that looked like me. And now it's all people of the Caucasianists look. And wealthy people. The bankers. Bank of America and all those corporations that are centered there in Charlotte, corporation, they have taken over everything. And that building that we had, it would be worth minimum two million dollars because right over the track, these are the homes and the condos. And, but I'd rather be here than with the that knowing that we can sell it, I can select it all and assemble it.
but I'm older now. I was young then, young and strong, late 30s, well, somewhat mid 30s, late 30s, 40s when I came here. As a matter of fact, I was in my 30s when I came here. I want to sell this for a million dollars. We're going to make it in because I have so much to do today. And so many things need to be done. So we give you the entrance to catch your community. And you may enjoy the beauty of the your heart to delight in the promises of God. The Yabruk and Yahshua's name, Teshua. For we sing to God, for the riches of Yahshua, we sing with the heart of great gladness. He has made us free and given us liberty that we are free and free indeed. Oh, Barakia, a mighty king he is. We sing to the Lamb of Israel, Yael, Yahshua, our King. Though we borrow, we bless Yahshua, our King. We turn the out for Israel, Yael. That's how he was. She's been with me. Uh, she moved down here with me. That's Ima Sevilla. She's been with me faithfully all these years. The family had all turned away. She has stayed by my side. That's why we need Imae, mothers in the house of God. Not those trying to run things. They got things they do run. There are things that you intend for the man. He's the head. My Isho, I'm the Ish. My Isho is the strength and the beauty of my manhood. She is the one that expressed that in her disciplinary life and her love that is so profound. I say to you all, Yisrael, never can have a great young Shalom.